Good morning, happy Vlogmas day nine. Today is Saturday and we finished decorating the tree last night. It was like 1 a.m. It was such a process to get this thing done, but I'm so excited that it's done. I'm just waiting for Mark because we're gonna head to the gym and then I've got a lot of stuff to get done today in preparation for tomorrow's shoot. The shoot is finally happening. Tomorrow is the day. This is what I've been talking to you about all week. So right now, I'm just putting together a banner that I'm gonna be using for the sheet, bleh, for the shoot. It's a Happy New Year banner. So it'll look something like that. So I'm just stringing that while I wait for Marco. Still feeling not great. I've been waking up with headaches for the past three days, like just like a pounding headache. But then I drink a bunch of water, I get my coffee in me, and I feel better also we got new dishes i'm so excited so i unboxed them all this morning half of them are in the dishwasher which is running right now and the other half are up on the counter because those will go in the dishwasher next but i'm so excited because we've literally been living with four plates and four small plates and four bowls for over six months now since moving here so now we have like a proper set of dishes and when we've been hosting people, we've been using, we have this like plastic, um, these plastic plates. I'll show you. They're these ones, which are, we ended, we have two sets here because so many were starting to break. We had to buy a second set, but they just look like that. They're from Costco and they can go in the dishwasher and they're like really durable, which is great when you host a, like, a good amount of time and I would say we have people over like quite frequently so it's good to have those plates and then it's good for the environment too and you're not throwing white paper plates and stuff the only downfall is we had a friend's giving dinner and we were serving a hot meal obviously and we had those plates because we had like 16 people here and the food was coming out like not super hot so we couldn't like heat it up on the plates because you can't put those in the microwave anyway now we have dishes so I'm gonna string this um, Banner, I'll see you in a bit. So we just finished up at the gym. Marco is heading to get a haircut. I am heading home because I have, like I said, a lot to do today. He wanted me to go with it, which is so cute. Do you guys know about love languages? There's this book called The Five Love Languages or The Five Languages of Love and it is so, so helpful in understanding like your partner and your relationship and why they do things and why you do things and determining what your love language is. And a lot of times like partners don't have the same love language so that the way that they like to receive love is the way that they also give love. But if you don't feel loved, like if that's not your love language, the way your partner is giving love, it doesn't feel it might feel nice, but it doesn't necessarily make you feel loved because your love language is something else. So there's five different love languages, obviously. Touch, quality time, words of affirmation, gifts, and acts of service. And Marco and I, we don't line up. We have different love languages. And I know that his primary love language is acts of service, so he'll like do things for me to make my life easier. I don't like he just he does things to to show his love and I am more of like a touchy person I like hugs and I like like cuddling and like if he hasn't touched me in a while or hasn't given me a hug I'm always like hug me like touch me when you walk by me just like not necessarily a sexual way like obviously that's good too but <laughs> that's kind of separate from love languages sexuality is is separate it was really cute because just now he's like are you sure you don't want to come like you have to like come with me even though we took separate cars and I'm like no like I have so much to do and it really shows me that I think his secondary love language is quality time because he loves doing things together and he loves spending time together and as much as we love our alone time as well and I'm totally an introvert so I need to be alone to recharge he is so much like let's do it together let's go run this errand together and let's like like last night you saw us it was like nine o'clock at night and we're going out to Lowe's together to get a ladder which I love because he could have just been like can you go do it or like okay I'll just go and as much as I wanted to be like can you just go alone so I can like get stuff done around here it's 
those times where we spend th like time together doing things together that are really special and they really keep us connected so I do really love that he's like that and I think you know when people ask me oh what do you love about Marco or like what what about your relationship do you really love and something that is very 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 important to me is that we do things together and I've been in relationships before where we would always do like our own thing and it was a big disconnect like if I like okay well if we don't do anything together and we're always annoyed when we see each other like what is the point you know but with Marco it's it's so nice that he always wants me to come with him. Anyway, I'm rambling on and that he's going to get a haircut and I'm just going home, so. just finished setting up the tablescape this is for tomorrow's photo shoot but also what I'll be doing for Christmas <gasps> I love these little reindeer napkin holders I got those last year I've been storing them ever since the theme obviously is the green maroon and blush pink with gold and silver I wanted to do mixed metals because I have kind of a little bit of 